Hey, my good friends, Sam Haymart with Test Driven TV. Recently, we got the chance to test drive the redesigned 2024 Ford Mustang GT. And there's a lot to look at under the hood, a lot of new stuff to talk about. So we're gonna do a complete underhood tour and outline all of the new technical features as well as the maintenance service points. The 2024 Ford Mustang GT we have here uses the latest generation 5 liter Coyote V8 engine which got some significant tweaks for this year and here it's mated to Ford's rev matching 6 speed manual transmission and is optioned with the active exhaust system. As such, the engine offers up 486 horsepower and 418 pound-feet of torque and that's on premium unleaded fuel. If you skip the active exhaust system, horsepower is slightly less at 480 with 415 pound-feet of torque. With a 12 to 1 compression ratio, dual variable cam timing, and a 7500 RPM redline, the engine does need to be wound out to really get to that power. You have to keep it cooking. One of the major changes for 2024 is the dual air intake system that features two separate air filter boxes that feed into two separate large bore throttle bodies. This effectively opens up the airways, and once the engine is fed, fuel is provided both with port and direct fuel injection. Following the airflow, the intake charge starts behind the grill and comes into the two air filter boxes. We can only show one at a time, so we're looking at the right one. From there, it travels past a mass airflow sensor, through a big bore tube, and into the throttle body, and then into the intake manifold. Charge motion control valves inside the manifold manage the speed of the airflow depending on RPM and engine load to maximize volumetric efficiency. Of note, the decorative plastic engine cover hides most of the fuel system and is indeed removable, but the strut tower cross brace has to be removed to do so easily. Looking at the valve covers, you can see all eight coil packs for the spark plugs. Exhaust manifolds are well hidden down underneath. Servicing the 5 liter Mustang is pretty straightforward with most all of the items within plain sight and easy access. The coolant reservoir is at the driver's side of the engine compartment just ahead of the strut tower. Brake fluid is checked and topped off at the driver's side rear of the engine compartment. The reservoir is sitting atop a new electronically controlled brake pump unit. The main fuse box is found on the passenger side back toward the firewall and is easily open for access to the fuses. There you'll also find a positive power post for jumping. The 12 volt battery resides just to the rear of it but is hidden underneath a plastic cover. Ford knows Mustang owners like to show off their cars. The cover cleans things up pretty nicely. Up at the front passenger side is a blue cap for the windshield washer fluid near one of the air filter boxes. Both filters can easily be accessed and changed out by popping a couple of the tabs. No tools required. The yellow handle dipstick for checking the oil is on the passenger side. The oil filter? Well, you've got to access that from below. Around the engine compartment, there are a few details notable, such as the factory strut brace, which is painted. Not as decorated as we've seen on other feature models. There's also cross braces that reach between the firewall and the towers. The driver's side is most visible. The hood on our GT features an air extractor vent which is fully functional as you can see right through it. At the front of the engine, the accessory serpentine belt drives the AC compressor, water pump, and the alternator. Turning around and looking forward, you can see an electric cooling fan. Always keep your hands clear as these can turn on even if the vehicle has been turned off. All right, my friends, there you go, under the hood of the new 2024 Mustang GT. Now, I love this new dual air intake system, but if I wanted to buy a cold air intake, I gotta buy two cold air intakes, two of them. Yeah, <laughs> so save your money. Nonetheless, we have a full test drive review on this vehicle on our partner channel, Test Driven TV. You can see that by clicking right there. You can also subscribe to TDTV Garage right there. Either way, stay tuned.